Hello, Farlanders! My name is Kurt, and welcome back to Farlands or Bust! Woof indeed! Woof indeed! Y'all got right bamboozled, right, Wolfie? Absolutely oh. flabbergasted. Absolutely flimflammed. The old switcheroo. The old backseas, forthseas. <laughs> That's right. Welcome back to Farlands or Bust. This is episode. Episode 849, which is going to make some people upset who were taking it upon themselves to numerate the live streams as if they were episodes. But we can't have that. That's just not that's not how the Guinness World Records book is 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 determining the Farlands are bust ser They don't determine anything. I, don't, I think they're honestly out of business now. They, the, the gaming edition doesn't exist. But welcome to episode 849, an official episode of Farlands are bust and a podcast episode. So welcome back, podcasters. But you're not the podcast po podcasties. Podcast oinks. <laughs> Whoever you are. I hope you're uh, able to listen and you haven't just unsubscribed, knowing full well that you'll never get another episode. It's fine. Uh, yeah, welcome. I figured, what with it being the end of the year, 2023, that I should make an episode of Farlands or Bust. This one will come out, I've just decided, on Sunday, December 31st, 2023. The final day of the 2023rd. And this is still season 11 of Farlands or Bust. And we're still walking to the Farlands here in Minecraft Beta 173, as we've been doing for over 12 years since March 2011. And we're raising money for charity. We... I don't know what we're up to, because <laughs> I have closed the window accidentally. Uh, we're raising money still for direct relief. Uh, link in the video description. The Tiltify donation link. Uh, we've gotten some very generous donations in. I mean, I suppose, if you're seeing this, this is your last time to get that uh, tax deduction charitable donation in. Before midnight. Today, on the 31st, if this is when you're watching it. Just saying. Couldn't go wrong with the Far Lands or Bust fundraiser. Goes to a great cause. And you uh, can ask a question. That I will uh, definitely answer during a live stream. Which you may or may not be able to view. <laughs> but they're all up on YouTube. They're all up on YouTube. I think... We're on quite the pace, though, as far as live streams are concerned. Hello, cow. I feel like Wolfie needs a little treat. Start us off here. What do I, I forgot. I should have wrote these numbers down, but we're well over, like, 22 episodes. I'm sorry. Live streams. <laughs> Plus the two episodes uh, into Season 11. And I feel like Season 10 and Season 9, in totality, only had between 20 and 30 live streams amongst them both. I don't know. We might we might be reaching the uh, the floating point jitter point sooner rather than later. We did just surpass 56 gigabytes on the world save file. 56,018.5 megabytes is the full size on the folder. And I am, I do have, and I will be, whoa, I almost fell down that. And I, and I will be uploading the F3 Monuments archive. Uh, eventually, I have them all now. I just have to, like, make sure I know how to upload them. Like, do I upload them all separately? Do I just upload them as, like, the Minecraft save folder? There, it's a, even, even though I just took out everything other than the, the F3 Monuments, it's still, like, over a gig. Yeah space. But I don't know how archive.org handles or takes kindly to large files like that, if it would be better if I upload them separately. 
But here we are, indeed. Thank you, everybody, for uh, for tuning in. And if you've kept tuning in to the live streams, welcome back to an episode. I know it's a little bit of a different vibe, a little bit of a different energy for an episode versus a live stream, which is why I don't feel completely right just ripping the audio and putting up that up as like a podcast, especially since there's like alerts and like subscription things and those sorts of stuff going on. I feel like it's not the right format for a podcast. But this is, this is indeed one Cone Dodger. Who's that? Cone Dodger 240 asked a question just before I got started here. You've watched and rewatched so much Star Trek. Still no desire to watch and rewatch the Doctor Who's? Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, hmm. not really. I mean, I never. I mean, I guess I never watched the old Doctor Who's. Like the old, old ones. I only ever started with the modern ones. And yeah, I just, I lost interest. I lost interest to the point where I don't have interest going back. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing about, like, the stories of the characters that I miss or anything. Most, I mean, mostly because the stories and the characters at this pace seem to be changing every year. It used to be like, oh, you get a good three or four years out of a certain doctor or a sidekick or whatever. But now they're just, like, churning through the storylines and the actors and the directors and stuff. On a on a seasonal basis. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, despite the totally not copywritten Minecraft skin that I'm using. Well, it probably was never a huge as huge of a fan. What am I doing? I'm trying to get this pig. Oh, I did not mean to hit him with the axe. Oh, Wolfie, that was you just took damage. <clears throat> Plus, I don't know... <clears throat> Excuse me, hold on, I need a drink of water. I'm not used to talking with such fervorance. Fervorance? Pithiness. Multitude. Magnitude? Whatever, hold on. <clears throat> Alright, continuing on. Now that's the stuff the podcast listeners love. <laughs> um... Somebody said the David Tennant reboot is amazing. I don't know. Maybe if I ever, if I ever have like access to it. That's another thing. It's not like accessible to us Americans. I don't know if there's any live streaming service that gets the Doctor Whom's like immediately. So that's another part of it. Feel. <clears throat> I mean, I used to just download torrents. Totally legal. Torrented files of the Doctor Whomst. Which I've had the full permissions and rights to download and watch. <clears throat> It's on Disney Plus. Yeah, I don't have Disney Plus. Um, yeah, that's a major part of it. Maybe I'll watch the the David Tennant return, but I also don't think the girlfriend would like it. That's kind of a a a, a, a driving factor of watching through Star Trek is that she's really into that, so we can watch that together. But I don't feel like, whoa, that's lava kind of hiding next to snow. That would have been a heck of a thing to catch on an episode. Dang. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, I don't think this is cheaty snow. I don't think cheaty snow can be near lava. Although I really should not investigate, to be honest. Um, what was I saying? I forgot. Thanks to my brush with death. Oh yeah, the Doctor Who versus Star Trek thing. Yeah, it would be hard for me to like try to explain Doctor Who. You know, as opposed to Star Trek, we both experience together. But yeah, I don't. I yeah, I have no no desire really. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> And awakeness. Deep Space Nine is so easy to explain, but there is no need to explain it. Cut, <laughs> like I said, because the girlfriend and I went straight from Next Generation to Deep Space Nine, so we were both got to be confused together. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, I mean, even that, we started watching Voyager, but then we got Netflix to watch, to catch up on the baking show and, uh, Stranger Things, and there's really not anything left on Netflix to watch. So I think we're gonna cancel that again, and then we'll probably just go back to Voyager, our second watch through of Voyager. Um, I've been watching through the X-Files. Man, that was a lot worse of a show than I remember as a child. <laughs> I'm noticing that they never actually solve anything. No, no, no crimes or problems ever, ever get solved or resolved. It's just like, well, that happened, and that weird monster guy got away, and will continue murdering elsewhere. Next, please. Next, please. Um, yeah, like we ended up watching the uh, the one episode with the the kind of the, the inbred family of murdering monsters, and I swear I remember that episode being like better and like more well received than when I rewatched it I was like oh that's it <laughs> that's all there was to it that really wasn't interesting at all it's considered the best one right and I told the girlfriend prior I'm like oh this is the best episode and she's like that was the best episode and I felt very embarrassed <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I kind of like I I I think the other ones I'm looking forward to is is kind of it's kind of like a hollow deck episode, but where they're like being taken over by the mushroom mycelial network in a little trance state, and they're having their weird dreams. That was a good one. I feel like that that's one that I remember. So yeah, there's some there's definitely crossover between some Star Trek themes and X-Files themes, and, and a lot of actors and supporting actors. There's a lot of crossover, too. People hype it up because it's the banned episode. Was it a banned episode? I don't know. I was able to watch it when it first came out. Indeed. So yeah, I mean, I'll continue. That's basically like when the girlfriend falls asleep and is like, watch whatever you want, I'll turn on the X-Files. <laughs> but yeah, no, there's really, uh, we're both finding that there's really nothing left. Watch. Without getting, having to like start a 
and get invested in something new. But that's fine. We talk about TV so much here. We need to talk about Twitch and how much you all should be watching and subscribing and cheering <laughs> and donating on twitch.tv slash Kurt Mac. <laughs> it's the new big thing. Speaking of which, what was I? What was I speaking of which? Dang it! <laughs> this is what happens when I don't have an outline or a script for my official full-on episodes. We just got a fluffy bean in the house. Fluffy bean, do no got a bath. Very behaved. Mm. Clean dog for the new year. <laughs> I am a good dog. Um, what else? Oh, it's. It, I mean, I suppose. I don't know how many people just watch the episodes. I don't. I if. <laughs> If you need to be caught up on anything, watch the live stream VODs. I, I wouldn't even know where to begin with saying stuff about what has gone on or happened. Does anybody even care? No. At least 301 plus. True, Cone Dodger. That is That was a classic uh, cloud. Uh, a, a, a sky? A skiz? Is that what they're called on Blue Sky? A skiz? You skizzed real good. Or you said you missed when YouTube got stuck on 301 views. Because then it was a mystery. How well your video was doing and you could have... You can contemplate the dream of a million views of viral success. Yeah, when that went away, everything kind of went downhill, didn't it? <laughs> Whatever they did for the 301 view bug, it, it just went downhill from there. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about Twitch. And it's the end of the year, and it's New Year. Um, the uh, The girlfriend for the New Year planning on giving up social media in its entirety the Instagram the Facebook that's pretty much all she does um and I'm going to fully support this she does she she will tend to get in like a a scroll hell <laughs> you know just like stuck um Kind of as her, like, that's what she does to relax or has downtime. So she's looking to get away from that. It's mostly the Instagram and the Facebook. I, I mean, I'm... Twitch, YouTube, whatever. Um, I, I, I don't know how far the, the term social media extends. Not really. She doesn't really doom scroll. She just like meme scrolls and viral scrolls and like has her own connections of people on Facebook and stuff who everybody you're friends with on Facebook you think is an idiot, right? Like that's what Facebook is for, right? <laughs> Cutting out Reddit? Well, that's the problem. She just found Reddit. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell her that that is also a uh, a social media platform, but sh she's using it for like figuring out school stuff and like using them for like a, uh, 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 extended uh, education um, ideas and resources. I don't know. I don't think she's found the real Reddit, which we all know is on Mindcrack discussion.
Acid.com, I see those 10 gift subs, but the alerts are off right now because we're recording a real genuine certified numberfied episode of Far Lands or Bust. Much appreciated. Why did you have to bring back those painful memories? You weren't you weren't you weren't in the crosshairs <laughs> of that. I mean, I guess I never was either, but I was a collateral damage. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> I've I've pinched a nerd with Cohen. See, isn't this great? These full episodes where I'm talking with Twitch chat. <laughs> isn't this exactly what you remember, everybody? <laughs> Aren't you glad that an episode is back? I don't know. I I do I, I do. Let's talk about this when the sun rises, uh, as it does after it sets sometimes. Uh, I don't. I I still am up in the air about episode V, uh, live stream. That whole that whole scenario. So let's we'll 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 get to that. Hold just hold that thought. Continue holding it. Hold it. And awakeness. And awakeness. Yeah, I gotta admit, I didn't pay attention to, or look at, or get involved in anything regarding the Mindcrack Reddit. So... I very much... Like most things in my life, just pretended it wasn't there. <laughs> uh, you know, like money, health, depression, all those things. Uh, so yeah, episode V live stream. I I do feel like maybe it would be prime time to start. Oh, I do need to first of all, I need I need to think about thumbnails for this episode. I got to think of something that's really clickbaity. Um I'm kind of straddling holding on to the old episode format whilst fully realizing that like the live stream format is how I'm actually going to get more like it, it, it far landing done. Um just out of the, the ease of being able to just live stream versus all of this planning behind the scenes that you simply do not understand to get an episode. Like I just I just kind of had a mini panic attack when I started the episode and I'm like, oh geez, I gotta edit this <laughs> and like put the title screen in and the end screen. That's like something I've not done since the last episode. Um so yeah, I don't know, maybe I should. Maybe I should start numbering the live streams as episode numbers. I don't know that that would... I don't know that that would do anything negative, but I don't think it would do anything positive either. Like, I'm trying to think of the benefit. The... effort and or confusion. True, there's no reason not to, but there's no reason to either. There's the the date format is nice too. Dates are a universal numbering system of chronologicality. So it's either ditch the episode numbers altogether and go with dates for everything, or ditch the dates altogether and go with numbers. Or do as I'm currently doing and be completely confusing and disorienting <laughs> by mixing both together in the same in the same playlist. Um, again, I feel like this is I I've just gone with the default because it's easier not to make a decision than to like make a decision. I definitely wouldn't go back 
and number all the old live streams to fit in with the episodes. That would be insane. That would be absolutely ridiculous. But going forward, would it cause confusion? I don't know. It also It's also easier to make the thumbnails by not having to put the little number in. <laughs> I mean, yes, it saves maybe 20 seconds, but you know what I mean. W with the current live stream format, I could just copy and paste the thumbnail that I took in, in Minecraft and just export as a JPEG and then we're good. We don't explore potential dungeons if we do not see them. We learned that the hard way twice. Right, Wolfie? Even if I watch it all here on Twitch, I 100% support putting it on YouTube. Well, I mean, that's what I've been doing. That's definitely, that's not the question we're asking. We're just asking about the, uh, the organizational efficiency of numbers versus dates. Keeping everything the same or keeping the live streams and the episodes different. Maybe, act maybe this will be the actual last episode. I mean, the last episode was the last episode because it was the last episode. So that still rings true. I think the major thing that changes is that live streams don't become podcasts. Which I I know some people listen to the podcast. So that would be more of a loss for me of of audience versus anything. Consider dates, but with little almonds in them. <laughs> Wrapped in bacon, perhaps. True, I, it would also be very neat to reach episode 1000. However, I have only, I only, since episode 001, I've only allotted for three numbers in my episode numeration. There would have to be a floating point shift in the episode number number. That could be some real meta there. I was kind of hoping, I thought the last episode was 849. I was kind of hoping this episode would be episode 850, which would be a nice round number to stop on, but we at least have to do one more episode, I suppose. I don't, but I don't, how long, I think we reached the Far Lands at this rate, if I make two episodes per year <laughs> to reach episode 999, I don't, I don't know if that's a, that, that is a, uh, a reasonable goal either. Unless, like we've been saying, if I just start numbering the live streams. But again, m media and videos today aren't really meant to be ingested in sequential order one at a time. Which is why even, like I've said, YouTube is kind of diminishing the importance and usability of playlists to a point where they're now podcasts. Yeah, Google Podcasts is going away. So I looked at like, okay, how do I get the Farlands or Bus podcast onto YouTube? And it's like, they just create a playlist. <laughs> they just create a playlist on your channel that is your podcast. I'm like, well, but I've already got that in as far as the episodes are concerned. So yeah, I don't know. All of this talk, we've come full circle, and we still don't know what to do. Um, good times. Good times indeed.
the YouTube shows. I, I miss those too, because that was a very convenient way of kind of scamming the search results. Somebody searches for Minecraft Farlands, they found the Farlands are bust show because it was the name of the show instead of the, the, the clickbaity videos that everybody else was coming out with. Or, I mean, that's why, let's be honest, my Kerbal Space Program series was nothing special, but I had it as a show, so when people searched Kerbal Space Program, it popped up first. Even above, like, the official Squad Kerbal Space Program channel. Because <laughs> that channel was called Squad and not Kerbal Space Program. Ah, those days are done, though, aren't they? And they shall never return. I suppose I should mention, I've opened up a sticker shop for stickers. I was very not happy with the uh, print-on-demand stickers from, like, T Public or Spreadshirt and stuff like that. So I said, damn it, I'm taking this into my own hands, and you can't stop me. So I've sourced my own local printers for stickers. And I'm trying out like a pre-built storefront website. Kind of streamline it at indeed.bigcartel.com. So far there's just a couple stickers. Uh, I'm actually, I, I just sent in an order to maximize my business deductibles uh, for, like, more. So there is going to be, I'm going to kind of, there's going to be a change to what's currently up there when I get those in. There's going to be, like, a Farlands or Bust set, and then there's going to be, like, the the weird Kurt ones, like the Sad Gap and, and the Hearse and stuff like that will be their own separate thing. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's fun. That's that. Those, and those, I'm like, f I'm doing the fulfillment and everything myself. You'll get a, you'll get a personalized licked envelope from Kurt J Mac. Need to find a place to make the uh, hidey hole. Boy, I sure hope that one screenshot I took is good for a thumbnail. <laughs> um. All right, I guess let's go here. Wolfie, have a seat. Thank you very much. One of them dangerous hidey holes. That if a creeper falls in here, I'm doomed. Doomed! Let's secure this insecure hidey hole. And wrap up this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all had... I hope you all had a tolerable 2023. And here's to a more tolerable, perhaps with more happiness and health and enjoyment, 2024. For each and every one of you. Even you, Starcot. Even you. <laughs> that, was just, that was just the name I saw last on chat, so... Serves you right. <laughs> um, Alright, we got the beds, we got a boat. We got our workbench. Yeah, thank you for tuning in, and uh, hopefully if you haven't been tuning into the live streams, this, this little episode might convince you, because you have no other option really now, because these episodes are few and far between. Uh, yeah, it's getting a little bit zombie outside, so let's go to sleep, and I will see you next time. <laughs>
wrapped in bacon, perhaps. <laughs>